In the final installment of our short series of features from Japan, we visit a landfill site near Yokohama, where engineers go to great length to protect the groundwater from contamination. But before that, we investigate the start of the garbage treatment process at a colorful garbage incineration plant in Osaka. The heat generated by the furnace is used to power the facility, and the air and water inside is recycled and filtered. The incinerator is so clean, it has become an unusual tourist attraction in Osaka. In this colorful building, no window or tower is the same. Looking like an amusement park, this is, in fact, This is the Maishima incineration plant, which burns garbage 24 hours a day. Trucks come and go, but the plant does not have the smell of rotting garbage that you would expect, which is because the air inside is being used to burn the rubbish and is only released after it's filtered. The air is purified, and of course we monitor for toxins, like dioxin, hydrochloric and sulfuric acid, nitrous oxide, and many others apart from those, but especially dioxin, which is less than 1% of the legal level. Apart from keeping its emissions pollution-free, the incineration plant also produces green energy. Using heat generated from the furnace, Water is boiled into steam, some of which provides central heating and hot water for the factory. The rest drives a steam turbine, which produces enough electricity to run the plant, while the remainder can be sold to the power company. In a year, we make an income of around 550 million yen. After the steam goes through the spinning steam turbine, it is sent to the condenser where it is turned back into water. That water is then sent back in a continuous cycle. So heat from burning the garbage is turned into energy. But what happens to the ashes? Well, they're taken by truck to a landfill. This site near Yokohama is only separated from a growing residential area by a narrow road. The engineers do their best to screen the residents from the landfill. We keep the noise level low with quieter machinery and do our best to control the dust and smell. We also immediately cover the newly dumped ashes with fresh soil. There's also a danger that rainfall will carry unwanted particles in the leachate down into the groundwater level. So there are a total of five protective layers and a system of pipes that collect the groundwater. To detect leaks, the landfill is monitored 24 hours a day. Copper lines run along both sides leading up to the surface. If there is a leak, the copper lines will become more conductive to electricity. The system is constantly monitoring. If anything unusual happens, this red warning color will appear. The collected groundwater is taken by pipes to the treatment plant, where it's sedimented, filtered, purified, and sterilized before being released into the river. The strict process of controls reduces the environmental impact of the landfill to a minimum.